Hey there, signs of Libra. This is Kim here to do a reading for you, and it's going to be for your next 48 hours. I am just pulling out the original tarot deck, and um, I have the classic tarot to clarify today. So, going old school on it. <laughs> so, as always, I like to channel your spirit guides, your angels, higher self your higher power, your true self. Let's see what messages come out for Libras. Okay, deep breath. Whew. Let me knock that energy. Here we go. For Libra. What's the issue? Oh, okay. So we might not do a Celtic cross. We might just do rose here. We'll still clarify though. So the Ace of Swords with the Two of Swords in reverse and the Chariot. Um, yeah. You, um, okay, it's like feeling like the train is moving, but you were on your way to put your luggage into it. So maybe your luggage is left, but you're moving now. <laughs> if that makes sense, you're, you're in motion. You're having to make decisions and be really alert right now. There's just something that feels like, um, even without all the information, Maybe this is a leap of faith, even without all the information you're moving forward. Because it came to a point where maybe you just couldn't reach a peaceful resolution to something. Maybe you just like you're like, I'm gonna cut my I'm gonna cut my losses here, I'm gonna go towards my victory, which is the chariot. So if I were to clarify anything here, I would definitely clarify the ace of swords because um these are pretty pretty well like you're in the middle of your reading the two of swords chariot could be cancer energy um for libra clarify this ace of swords in the reverse it's some kind of information that's not there and maybe it's about learning something doing something in a different way and being open to learn different ideas being open to learn different ideas and different ways of handling and doing things than maybe in the past because that is you know the past for me the six of cups the past it could be relating to being around these people that mean a lot to you whether they're part of your soul family or actual family it doesn't really matter does it the X, the 10, the completion is right there. So this is a this is piece of the puzzle. The piece of the puzzle is um, being open to new information and new ways of doing things as you proceed forward, as you go forward, because you definitely are going forward with the chariot here. All right, that's your victory. This is the nostalgia. This is the memories. This is uh, how we used to do it. And it may be a little bit of being like stuck there. So, it, or feeling like it, right? But then it comes to this decision that can't be postponed. And um, we have to get moving. This is either, it could be about travel. It could be about driver's license for some people. It could be about, you know, anything that gets moving, right? <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Let's get um, some outcome cards. And then after that, we'll get some spirit advice for you. Outcome cards, outcome cards, closure, death, transformation. Really, this card is probably a tarot reader's favorite card, most tarot readers. Um, because major metamorphosis, change and transformation, and the knowledge that we all know we don't, uh, well, most of us, I guess not all believe this, but I believe that we go on and that this is <clears throat> just part of a cycle, is part of a transition to another form or um, a new level, different reality of consciousness. 
and, and and whatever level that means for you it can be very um it can be metaphorical death like death to the ego um you know wouldn't it be great if we all saw the god inside and live from the divine peace that's in you that is you actually there's a need to be a little bit more assertive however the queen of wands in the reverse sometimes comes across to me as not really taking too much of a risk at this time and not wanting to put yourself out there there's nothing wrong with that if if you're doing something to protect yourself or if you feel a little vulnerable so you're holding back on something it may be a good thing it's it obviously you're the one who knows what's good for you what's not if you feel like you do need to be more brave or take more chances then you probably do <laughs> um queen of wands could be aries energy death could be scorpio energy i could talk forever about the death card but i will go on um because it's just it's everything it's complete completion you should look forward to new realities once you see the death card come up in your spread and then there's the x there's a completion there's the 10 10 10 10 showed up in your reading 10 10 that means everything in divine timing even though you're going to put your all into this project, it's pretty well known. You're going to bring it to a completion. And there will be a point where you get to relieve some of the workload. You'll be able to release these burdens and lighten your load eventually. So I don't really feel, I mean, sure. Okay, let's clarify the Queen of Wands. I don't clarify that much because um, I already get messages from the regular card, card themselves and I don't want to like make it too specific because then I rule out people and I don't want to rule out anybody. It's all inclusive reading. Nice. Capricorn Virgo energy possible. Uh, Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. However, I'm glad I clarified this one. Um... Wow. Guys, I think this is about taking a risk and high yield. Like, um, high risk, well, high yield, and it does yield. Came out like this, though. So, some of you all, the majority of you all, this is about your independence, your bold and braveness to go venture out on your own, material success. It's like living in the lap of luxury. Nine of Pentacles. Nobody has to take care of you. You don't have to rely on anybody else. Queen of Pentacles. You know how to receive money because you're like the divine aspect of being able to receive money with the Queen of Pentacles. Earthly uh, material matters is what the Queen of Pentacles is really, really good at. Uh, keeping things solid and everybody having their luxuries at home. That's something too. So... These may be issues. Um, you may need to be a little bit more bold when it comes to stating what you want and how you want it. Like, how do you want to live? Do you don't settle? Don't settle for anything. All right, now we're gonna go on. Advice from Spirit for Libra. Sagittarius energies here too. Advice. Okay, this is your advice, okay? So, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse as advice, when it went right here to the Queen of Pentacles, came out with a strong message for me. There are some people that will always try to get you to fix their problems because they see you as dependable. We can't be dependable for everybody here when we have needs of our own and our own family to take care of. And, and that's the main message. There it may be another, okay, for some of you all, this might be a person who is just particularly independable and, or undependable and like making you carry most of the work. This, this needs to be adjusted too, if that's the case for you. All right, spirit advice. Another card, please. Allow others take responsibility for themselves. Yeah. 
yeah it could be a temporary thing that well this is advice so this is advice for you hold on to what you have um help only those that you're able to help understand that all these situations right now are temporary because they're associated with the fives have the strength oh look and the ten of cups this person's gonna feel out in the cold okay but you're not enabling them when you have focus on you your own strengths your own family like this outcome here right so i feel like that it's somebody that might make you try to feel bad for them like poor pitiful me but but right here is showing that you are the one pulling in this confidence card of leo piscean energy with the ten of cups is complete happiness long lasting happiness and the two of wands here is being really focused and visualizing you see the globe is in his hands he's visualizing what he wants the outcome to be you get it and by the way there are more possibilities if you're having a hardship of any kind or any kind of worrisome sometimes the five of pentacles is like it could be advice from spirit to you regarding the health status of a family member and this might be waiting for some results this might be saying hey just because they say that it's this possibility or this doesn't mean that that's all there is and also second opinions are out there don't be afraid of a second opinion all right so that's that message and by all means help if you feel like you can help someone but always help yourself um, and your family first because that's the best way to help everyone else Oh, there's some disappointment in somebody. They're saying, okay, it might be a patriarch of the family. Might be an Aries energy. Something is a burned out way of ruling. Something is a burned out way of ruling. Staying back as a strategy, holding back, not being very brave, out of fear. So, not wanting to really take a risk. But yet again, I have the message that it's because you're targeted on finding out this truth, this information regarding a family member or a soulmate issue with this Ace of Swords in the reverse. It ties together. So find your information. If it's part of the strategy to hold back, you know whether or not that's based in fear or love. It might be a strategy for you to get more information. And that might be an okay thing because it looks like somebody's disappointed you with the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So it's either, Libra, this is your energy. It's either this uh, Aries energy, another Libra, maybe a Virgo, Pisces, Leo. Virgo is pretty strong. You have Cancer and Scorpio too. So getting to the truth of the matter though, of why somebody disappointed you. It goes beyond, um, it goes beyond the surface. All right, Queen of Swords. Letting go of heartache, loss. This could be a family member who's no longer present that was a patriarch or Aries. Um, the Three of Swords in the reverse could be somebody having issues with heart. Heart troubles coming out of those issues too. Or this was a this is like coming out of so it's a it's, it is a fresh start. It's just trying to say that there's still things that you need to release, and it's a constant purge. It's constantly releasing this heartache, so that you can move on, so that you you'd bury it. That's why you're like if I if I'm gonna bury it, I need to know all the truth first. And the world is in the bottom, so a completion. That, that completion is everywhere here in your reading. I see it everywhere. All right. <laughs> Let's get your um, nice angel number message for you, Libra. And I'll get a music card, too. I like those. Those are cute. It's a good reading. It looks like some hard stuff to go through. The advice is you can do it, though. You know what I mean?
two to two stay balanced because burnout is possible all right make sure your priorities are uh line but you know not just make sure your priorities are lined up though but make sure that they, they're lined up the way you want them they're constantly um reprioritizing especially in just different areas of your life right Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you're nourishing them with words, feelings, and action. Two, 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 I am balanced. I am balanced. Okay, and then I'm going to get a music card. The playlist. They're really pretty cards. This is probably my favorite deck as far as looks, aesthetics go. Beyonce, Drunk in Love, and her slide. Um, Beyonce, Drunk in Love. We woke up in the kitchen saying, how the hell did this shit happen? Oh, baby, Drunk in Love. We be all night. Last thing I remember is our beautiful bodies grinding up in that club, Drunk in Love, Beyonce. And her slide. You're, al you're always wearing them glasses. You don't want to let no sucker look in your eyes, huh? Better show off them eyelashes. You love what you do with the passion. Oh, that shit attractive. I F with you, girl. All you want to do is gas me. How we end up in the back seat. Just trying to get to the bag. We're on the same page. You're you the same way. Okay, so that's that part. And then... um yeah i'm gonna close with these energies the archetypes close with the archetypal energy okay Ooh, the starborn star seed um destined for fame sometimes destined for fame it could mean that um or famous at what you do Understanding that the mystery or the riddle is sometimes just that, uh, only to be understood when you're outside of it. Um, that might just be the answer to the riddle is the paradox of no real answer. Um, Anima Mundi. Oh, wow. This is everything. Everything, everything. It's um, unconditional here. Unconditional love for you. The mystery of unconditional love. Um, and you feel like you're starborn or related to the stars. That's a good card. You're everything. <laughs> it is the all-in-one riddle. The mystery of life here coming to you. <laughs> here, let's get, um, let's get another card. Well, I've got, well, I've got these decks right next to me. Why not? Why not pull from them? This one is called Sacred Spirit, and they are really hard to shuffle. There we go. Cosmic Ancestors. It's another 10, you guys. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, all over the reading. It's divine timing. Okay, they say to voice your concerns. Voice your concerns to your cosmic ancestors let me look at number 10 here mm. it says you may feel like you're a star seed disassociated from others right next to the starborn too right cool disassociated from others as they cannot comprehend how precious life is planetary evolution or conscious connection with all living creatures you may have fell into silent pain or been a passionate activist. Your heart breaking over the material corruption of humanity and that no one is listening. Could be about people being materialistic, ego-driven, or narcissistic. And it says, I continuously evolve with conscious action. Mm -hmm. You may feel connected to star energy, or be aligned with more cosmic understanding of the universe than with others. Call upon the energy of 100% pure light gal galactic guides, masters, or teachers to assist you in understanding your personal connection. To assist you in understanding a little bit of the riddle or the mystery in life. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Sending you love and light. Bye, Libras.